This year's mob vote begins tomorrow at noon, but we already know what mob's gonna win. The sniffer will win, possibly with a super majority. How do we know this? Well, the other two mobs really aren't that great, but was that on purpose? Are the mob votes purposely fixed? Or rigged? Well, if we look at last year's mob vote, we can see a similarity to this year's mob vote. The glare mob was the first mob to be presented, and frankly, it is pretty worthless. All it does is search for dark spots, but let's be real, that's what your eyeball is for. A completely useless, made on the spot idea just to fill in for that candidate space. And the copper golem would attract some people, like myself, you know, it's another golem in the game, a miniature one, and you know what? presses buttons and it's basically like a random number generator. But then they show a mod that has an abundance of features and they pretty much advertise it a little better than the other ones. Almost like Mojang rigged the mob vote to make sure that the Alay would get in the game. While this is speculation, the glare was for sure not gonna win and the copper golem wouldn't really get too much traffic as some people would be convinced for the Alay because of its abundance of features. I also believe the Alay was miscommunicated. Some people might have believed that you give it a diamond and it's gonna go search and you're gonna just duplicate your diamonds but that's not what the LA does at all but I believe that was a miscommunication which a lot of people just hey let's go vote for this thing because it's gonna give us free stuff but it doesn't then looking at the 2020 mob vote we can see how influencers rigged the voting process you see unlike this year's mob vote all the previous mob votes and biome votes were conducted in Twitter these influencers like the dream team and captain sparkles and others and their followers are like hey he said to do it let's go vote for it and next thing you know, we end up with the glow squid. I do think creators should be able to voice their opinion on what they want for the mob vote. But I don't think they should bribe people like, hey, I'll follow you back if you show proof that you voted for the glow squid. But when we look at this year's mob vote, we see the sniffer, which will add much more to the game in items and in features and in lore. The rascal hide and seek thing is kind of random and the loot may not be as good as it seems, especially in the late game that mob will be 100% useless. And the tough golem is just a fancier item frame, which I think is cool, but again, I do feel like that the sniffer was purposely put in this mob boat to win. And Minecraft is on a decline, and so they better be playing their cards carefully. And if you don't know what I mean, Minecraft is dying. Can we save it? Or why the sniffer will win by a landslide. Look at that.